Okay, can you guess what we're gonna talk about today? Yeah, we're gonna talk about my alcohol cabinet and the things I like and the things that we have used. And uh, actually, there's candy in there too. we will take that out. All right, so we're gonna start over here because it's the smallest one with the least amount. And I have not tried this yet, but this is our, um, Wicked Margarita, and I think it's going to be good. I haven't tried it yet, like I said, but it's got habanero, lime, and green tea in it. And uh, it just looked good. I don't know where I got it. I got it for my daughter, and she ended up having to go back to California and couldn't take it with her. Her loss, my gain. So, anyways, there's that. And um, it's uh, all organic tea and all. So, that's going to be good. All right, so we got that. And then up here, my husband likes whiskeys a lot. So we've got this, and this is from College Station, which is where he's from, A&M, Rio Brazos uh, Distillery, and it is Texas Corn Whiskey. And uh, we have, I'm gonna show you the color of this. This is really gorgeous, look at that. Yeah, it's a, it's a very nice, pretty color. And you can see that, okay. So we're coming back up here and we're gonna take this one and this one is one that we have gotten many times now um this is called basil's hate basil hayden's kentucky straight bourbon whiskey um we have a son hayden right there and uh so we thought it was cool and the first time we just got it because of that uh but then we have got it several times since it is really good um really smooth for as far as a as a bourbon whiskey goes and you can just see it's just a gorgeous color okay so then oh this we have not opened yet or has oh he has opened it a little bit it's called pinhook and this is a bourbon um and wow it's a straight bourbon whiskey 47.75 percent by alcohol but boy um and I, I just i liked this when i went to a whiskey place I think I got this for him from Louisiana when I went with my daughter, but this is a gorgeous color too. Obviously, I'm a fan of the colors, but you can see the difference right there. This, before I forget, is a little good time peach bellini slushy that I took out. All right, so anyways, here we go. We're gonna keep going. Kahlua, uh, hello, that's just mudslide. I don't even know, honestly, why this is up here because it should be in a refrigerator and it's been opened. I don't know if it has to stay refrigerated or not. I'm going to have to look at that. Um, I don't know. It doesn't say anything. It says chill, serve, and enjoy. Okay, so, but it's already been opened. I think one of my kids stuck it in there. Okay, so this one is amazing. We've had this before and we got it again. It's called Knob Creek. And it is huge. It's 100 proof, though. And this sucker is heavy, heavy, heavy. Oh, my gosh. It's a really cool but big um, bottle. I mean, comparatively. I mean, like, look at the size difference there. <laughs> it looks like a baby. Um, just really pretty. Okay, reaching up here. This one is called Early Times. I, I think I should probably just shut the video off after bourbon whiskeys. But um, this is... Um, an old one, been around since 1860, called Early Times. There we go. And I'm gonna try to, I keep trying to get the colors in. This is definitely a lot darker, very ambery. Okay, 100 proof again, good gracious. All right, this, wait, yep, we're in the rum. I think that's it on my whiskeys right now. Okay, this stuff, y'all, so good. If you like rum, this is one of the best ones out there. It's called Plantation. And it is so good. Actually, I'm going to keep this one out. I'm going to have a drink later with this one. And this is the baby one. And I went back because we liked it so much. <clears throat> I got a big Mac Daddy. And look at the difference in size on that. Um, this thing is huge. And um, we, we will drink it. Um, but the thing is, this is aged five years. It's from Barbados. What's the alcohol content on this? I'm trying to find it. I can't see it. Maybe you see it as I'm flipping it around here, but I do not see it. All right, maybe it's in the front. Nope, 
I don't know where the heck, oh, there it is, 40% by alcohol. Okay, back up here. This is a brandy. And the only reason we ever drink brandy is with like this cherry dessert we have, flaming cherries dessert, uh, cherries flambe kind of thing. And that's why we have that. I can't say anything else about it. Um, we have this Diamond 151 Overproof Rum. And honestly, I don't even know when we have this. It's obviously been drank a little bit, but if it's 151 Overproof, I'm guessing that what I bought it for was a flambe. Um, you know, one of those cherries flambe kind of things. Okay, now... Here's some tequila. This is a good tequila. As far as blue agave, um, L, I don't even, I'm not even gonna try it, but it's really good. It's pretty bottle. See the little guy at the top? Anyways, good, good tequila. Here we go. See how many I got out so far? Yeah, I probably should dust up here. These, these are glass shelves and it looks really pretty when um, I turn on the light here. Let's turn on the light. See the light? I should keep the light on. It looks prettier. Anyways, um, I need to clean it anyways. So, here we keep going. This is another tequila. Agave tequila. Um, this one, where's this from? I can't see. Anyways, Mexico. So, there we go. Um, just another one we drank. Okay, and then this is the last one. I'm not even going to pull it down. This is another tequila. And here we go. That's it. I don't really drink a lot of tequilas, but anyways, okay. Cool books. Here we go. The Curious Bartender. Okay. Got that one. This is an old one. I absolutely love this one. Um, it's called Joan's Complete Bar Guide. Y'all, this one's my favorite. Um, it's got like whole history of alcohol and I've spent a lot of time. I've highlighted it. <laughs> um, it's a good book. And I mean, like, what does it say? Um, what did I highlight up here? It says, um, clear liquor such as gin and especially rum from the neighboring islands became the vogue as boatload after boatload of spirits scurried along the coast waters. See, it's the history of distilled spirits. And I mean, it's, it's got all kinds of liquor, um, recipes in here, uh, drink recipes. And so it is it's awesome. If you can get this, I highly suggest this. Honestly, this one, this bartender's one, cute pictures, nice drink recipes. Um, but honestly, I've spent more time in this Jones one than this one. And then I have one over here that's kind of just cute with my little great Irish drinking stories, which I haven't read, but <laughs> along with other books I haven't read, but I like. And then I've got my little guy drinking there and I just think he's so cute and then back there I've got one of these well don't fall over you haven't had anything to drink yet okay and then um this is where we just keep some of our butter glasses right there okay so now I think I'm gonna have to move these Hayden come help me real quick move all these liquors back up into there okay because I gotta be able to pull these down okay so here's my big wine glasses a little sign so th those are cordial glasses up there, those green ones. Those are antique cordials. These are the obviously um, stemless glasses that I just recently got because around this house we break these wine glasses on a regular basis. And then I've got these super fancy, I don't know if you're going to be able to see them, super fancy. And they've got like this rainbow sheen to them. These are for fancy drinks. And then um, these some other fancy drinks we have we give these to the kids for special shots and such and then these i bought these just because they have different colors and they're for the kids when they're having drinks with us too they all have different you know orange red blue so it was easy to figure out which kid had which color so i liked those and then we have a few of these just to keep outside um when it's hot in texas weather those work for our wine glasses thank you for doing that good job look at he almost got that almost exactly the way it was oh he left three down here i guess he didn't push them in as much as i did but okay let's shut this okay so we have moved from that side now we're over here
And okay, so I like gin and I just love this bottle. I just think it's the cutest bottle. It's got this top and um, it's pretty good gin actually. It's called Love Eden Mill St. Andrew's Gin. So um, love gin. And then this, oh my gosh, if you're gonna have some special coffee, this is what you wanna put in it. It's Caribbean rum um, with dairy cream and artificial flavors. It's got like a cinnamon kind of taste, milky. I don't know how to, it's creamy. And it's just really good in coffee. Um, along with, I'm talking about coffee, is your Bailey's. And if you're gonna do coffee drinks, Bailey's Irish cream, those are two must haves right there. Gotta have those. Okay, and then we have cherry liqueur once again this is for um desserts and things like that we never drink this stuff straight um gray goose vodka um from france everybody knows about that vodka not anything interesting or new now here this is a, just a vanilla vodka and um i'm not too sure i think we were just wanting to try something new um, we have Tito's, and this is the one, oh, gosh, I need to get this out of here. Wait, once again, <laughs> it's a big old bottle. Look at the size of this thing. It's huge um, compared to these other ones. Like, I'll give you an idea. And anyways, this Tito's is one. We have drank this whole dang thing. It's from Austin, Texas. We love it. This is our go-to always as far as vodka around here. All right, we got another flavored vodka. What is it? Stool vanilla. Um, Stooly uh, vanilla is what it's called. Um, okay, I'm not going to pull these out. These are ones we never get. A vermouth, that's for cooking too. Over here, this is a bitter and this is a bitter. We got both of those for just different recipes, that, you know, like liquor, liquor recipes. Um, here's a redneck vodka. We've drank a little bit of it. Um, I honestly cannot tell you anything about it um but that's it okay seagram's gin gotta love seagram's gin i mean this is obviously a loved one too as far as gin is gonna go i mean these are the two i got right here okay and then we have triple sec which you're just gonna mix with some things um i don't even know what is this oh it's um what is this I know what this is. This is um, like a dry, but I don't know what it's for. It's an extra dry liqueur, but I don't know what the heck I use it for. But anyways, there we go. We're gonna move on from that. Then we went triple sec Malibu. Of course, this is a summer favorite. We mix this with everything. Our, yeah, it's good. Um, but we, we a lot of the time, we'll just do this with Cokes which from now on, I guess will be Pepsi. <laughs> um, but we're doing rum and Pepsi with this, um, you know, Malibu and Pepsis. Okay, now these y'all are one of my favorite things. Okay, that's why there's two of them. <laughs> these are so good. You can mix these with um, like gin just by itself. You can mix it with a soda. Um, we've mixed them with margaritas to make raspberry flavored margaritas and out of the main things I would tell you to get after looking at all of my stuff here, this is one that I highly recommend. The Tito's is gonna be my favorite in vodkas. Um, obviously, the Bailey's as far as Irish cream. Uh, the Rum Chata as far as Horchata goes. And then let's see what else. Um, between these two and gin, I mean, I think this one's just a cheaper one. I think gin, that's a pretty good one. Um, and then back up here, you guys, if we're not forgetting things, don't forget this plantation. And as far as um, rums go, and then as far as bourbon whiskeys go, this is probably one of my favorites. I'm sure there's other ones that are, you know, better or co comparable, but right now that's my favorite. So. There you go. I think I think I have it. Yeah, we've we've gone through everything that's up in my liquor cabinet. And if you have something that you want to suggest or tell me about, then by all means do. Tell me what you like, what you don't like, what you cook with, or whatever, and uh, let me know. And uh, I guess that's it for my wonderful liquor cabinet. Um, 
and also recipe books and, and, and cookbooks and bartending books. Um, let me know. I'm going to flip this around. Can I flip it around? I guess I can't. Okay, so that's it. Thanks. Give me a like and subscribe, please. And um, we will see you on the next video. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.